Welcome back to Season of Worlds 10.12, Part 2. This time we're going to be talking about some God changes. We talk, covered the item changes in the previous episode that you can go check out. Uh, lot, lots of spicy changes coming. And with that, we have some God changes. Uh, you know, a God that likes to get buffed before Worlds, sadly, is Kamazots. He has not been a busy bee this time around this season, but unfortunately he might be more. They increased the projectile speed by 33% for Swarm. Uh, this god is so aggravating to play against when he's good, and it usually only takes one buff, and then he just starts popping off and we see him everywhere. This might be the case. Uh, he is a very good ability-based hunter, and I think kind of plays well with a lot of the current items that are good right now. We'll have to see if he starts showing up in the mid and ADC lane. Atlas, a god we haven't seen as much of, even though he has a really good win rate, uh, is general. He can increase his physical prots from 3.5 to 3.7. The gamma ray burst, they increase his power reduction per stack from 2% to 3%. I'm a big advocate that I think Atlas is not good. Uh, I, I don't like seeing him in my lane. I don't think he's particularly good to be on my team. Maybe this changes him a little bit. I'd love to see that, but we'll have to see how that ends up going. Uh, Chalk, the god that high res really wants to be good. Uh, Thunderstrike, increase the damage scaling from 70% to 75%. Torrent, increase the base damage from 100 to 300 scaling to 100 to 340 scaling, so making it better late game. Uh, does, does this bring Chalk more forward in the meta? I don't know, man. I, I think the bluestone, you know, corrupted bluestone buff makes it a little bit more interesting. I, I don't, I just don't know. Chalk is such in a weird place, but man, they've kept buffing him, and this might finally push him over the edge. Uh, Kukulain, we have Vent Anger increase the damage from 10 to 30 scaling to 10 to 38 scaling again, making him a little bit better late game. A uh, Spear of Mortal Pain, the cooldown decreased from 100 seconds now, 100 and scaling down to 80 seconds, and this only affects the cooldown of Spear of Mortal Pain, uh, not his other ultimate there. Dons and Burrow. A god that will climb the ranks. The only god that hadn't been played in SPL, uh, you know, all season, sadly. Um, Alluring spe Spirits increase the base damage from 80 to 280 scaling now to 90 to 290 scaling, just giving a little bit more damage. And then Tanuki Trickery, they change the damage mitigation while in this ability from just basic attacks to all damage. And the decrease mitigation from 20% to 15%. I think this brings Donza to a new place of, of being really good in a different way. I'm excited for this change as a Donza player and a, and a you know a Donza fanatic, some would say. I, I hope, I hope sincerely that this makes him uh, in a better place and we see some more play from him. Finrear, Unchained, reduce the cooldown from 15 to 14 seconds. Brutalize, reduce the time to fully channel Brutalize from 1.5 seconds to 1.35 seconds. Uh, I love seeing some Finrear changes. I love, I love Finrear. Well, we'll see how that ends up playing out. Hoi, uh, my least favorite hunter to play. Ricochet, increase the scaling damage from 65 to 70%. Mark of the Golden Crow, decrease the cooldown from 18 scaling to 14. Now 16 scaling to 14, just to make him a little bit better early. I don't think this brings him into the in the foray of meta picks, sadly. I, I think he needs other help with early clear, but, you know, maybe I'm wrong. You know, let me know in the comments below what, what you think about Hoi. Uh, Nemesis, Swift Vengeance, decrease the cooldown from 14, now 13, scaling down to 11. Slice and Dice, increase the damage from 50, scaling to 170. Uh, it's now going to be 55, scaling to 175, plus 40% of your physical power instead of 35. I think this is good. I think Nemesis could see some play. I, I, I enjoy seeing Nemesis played because I think she brings a, a different type of play to jungle. That's always interesting, and her prot shred is really, really good. So keep an eye out for that. Raw, Divine Light, increase the damage scaling 55 to 60%, and Solar Blessings, reduce the cooldown from 16 to 15 seconds. You know, we, we might see some Raw. Raw's already, I think, decent. I think this makes him just a smidge better. Could see some Raw for sure. Shiva, a god that's been good and is now going to increase damage mitigation 30 to 40% on Pillar of Dawn. I, I think Shiva will be played. 100% I think he'll be played. Tsukiyumi, we got the change we wanted, boys and girls. We have been trying to convince the powers that be that he needed to be knock-up immune in Kusuragami. It's been reverted. It's been brought back to the old Tsukiyumi days, and he will finally be knocked-up immune again in his two, and we are excited for that. Vulcan, Infernal Cannon gets a, cannon gets a increased base damage from 45 scaling to 145 now scaling to 165 instead and Earthshaker increased the minimum damage from 75 to 80 percent Vulcan could use some love happy to see that uh, the the Yimer the Wimer as I like to call him 
Uh, glacial strike decreased the pre-fire time from 0.45 seconds to 0.35 seconds. I think that's an interesting change. I think that could be interesting to toy around with. We'll have to see if Ymir's played more. Uh, nerfs, we have Athena decreased the attack speed debuff from 30% at all ranks to 20, scaling to 30% on Confound. Baba Yaga, a god that's needed to see some nerfs for sure. Creeping Cabin increased the item stat cost from 400 to 500. Baba's Brew decreased base damage from 95 scaling to 235 to 85 scaling to 225. Uh, these were needed changes. Bob has been really, really good for a long time. Chernabog, another god that's been just really, really good. Uh, Heart of Cold decreased the base damage of Explosion from 20% to 15% of your basic attack damage. Crystallized Curse increased the cooldown from 15 scaling to 11, now 15 scaling to 13. And Vicious Barad increased the cooldown by a full second from 7 to 8. I think all these changes were needed. Chernabog was kind of just a step ahead of the rest, and this kind of brings him back to be more in line. Maman is now... Not knock of immune in party trick. So she traded with Tsukiyomi and got nerfed here. I think that was needed. Maman is very, very good and had, you know, some counterplay issues. I think this fixes part of that for sure. Raijin, another god that's been really, really good, especially in solo. Uh, charge tempo decreased the cooldown reduction from 2 to 1.5 seconds. Percussive Storm increased the cooldown from 10 to 12 seconds. And Thunder Clash, or sorry, Crash, increased the cooldown from 15 seconds, now scaling from 17 down to 15. Uh, this will this will definitely hurt Raijin. He will not see as much play, and it's definitely needed. So um, I think these were all great changes heading into Worlds by High Rise. I think this might be one of the best patches in a while, to be completely honest. I think overall, from top to bottom, it's a very good patch. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'd love to know, you know, do you think this is enough for all gods? Is there other gods you think that should have been nerfed or buffed? Uh, I love always hearing from y'all and, and getting to interact with y'all in that way. If you need Smite gems, head over to nexus.gg backslash Blaze McBain, and you can get gems on sale there till the 27th and help support me in the content that I create. Uh, I hope y'all are doing well. Check out the YouTube, check out the TikTok, check out the Twitch. I'll catch you guys later. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.